moving on. Now, a number of doctors and health workers are among the 1,671 persons who have currently tested positive for COVID-19. The Ghana Medical Association, which is raising concerns over the increasing number, also says they are particularly worried. It is taking too long to release the results of other health workers whose samples have been taken and so have been asked to self-quarantine until the results are known. Joni has recently spoke with one of the doctors who currently is currently receiving treatment for COVID-19. She spoke with us on condition of anonymity. I want to use this medium to thank my colleagues at work. They have been so supportive. Um, they would call in every day to check up on me and my family. Some dropped food at my doorstep. I had people who would buy my medications and come and drop at my doorstep. I had people who would call and read Bible verses, you know, just to encourage me. I have had a lot of support from my colleagues at work. Mm. My family has been great. I mean, they were just there for me. My mommy, yes, I've had a lot of support, but then they've also gone through stigmatization. And surprisingly, it came from the hospital. It came from health workers. People telling me that I have come over to where they work and I've spread the infection to them. You know, and that was, I, I, I was very sad when I had, uh, I had them saying things like that. I had people saying that I had gotten it from my husband because he doesn't live here. He lives in the U.S. But my husband was here in January. By the first week of February, he had left. So, so it took about eight weeks before I developed my symptoms. I don't think I got it from my husband. Why would people want to spread such information about me. I found it very sad that people would say that about me, especially coming from health workers. Yeah. You know, so I want to use this opportunity to ask everyone to stay away from stigmatization. Now, Dr. Titus Bayo, he's a Deputy General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association. He joins us on the line to tell us more about what these health workers are having to go through, especially having to wait for their results. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Titus Bayo. And I must say, uh, we all actually commend you and congratulate you for the enormous work that you're doing, the awesome work that you're doing, and putting yourselves on the line as uh, this doctor who currently has COVID-19. But I want to know how many doctors are currently or have been infected? Um, thank you very much, Israel, and uh, good evening to uh, the viewers. Unfortunately, I'm unable to give you the number of doctors currently affected. Uh, I can confirm that indeed some doctors have been affected. Uh, some nurses have been affected. Some non-clinical hospital workers have been affected. So it's across the spectrum. But I'm unable to give you figures as to exactly how many people have been affected. But there is also good news. Some doctors have recovered uh, from this condition as well. So th that is how much I can say for now. All right. Now, the critical issue which you are raising has to do with the health workers whose samples have been taken and as a result are having to step away from work. Tell us more about that. Yes, I think. Um, yeah, thank you. I think that that has been a challenge uh, with the increased testing that is expected with so many people having to be tested huge samples, uh, numbers reaching the various testing facilities uh, that was expected. But it was our hope that perhaps there will be an expedited testing line for health workers because of the seriousness with which a delay in the test of health workers uh, 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 can pose to the health delivery system. Because when you have a group of health workers infected, uh, immediately they will have to, or suspected to be infected or exposed, let me put it that way, they, and their samples are taken, they have to undergo um, self-quarantine while waiting for the results. In instances where this has not happened, the fear is that they may spread this infection to other health workers or even to patients. So it's important that their results is known almost uh, immediately so that those who are uh, negative can continue to work. But we are having situations where sometimes an entire department has to close down or entire units within the hospital 
have to close down because they are waiting for results. And this takes long, in some instances, six days, some eight days, and I think that is not really acceptable. So one would wish that across the country, with the current situation we have, we establish a protocol for testing all health workers so that when samples of health workers are taken, it is labeled differently and expedited at all the testing centers and results delivered almost immediately, as soon as is possible, so that these people will know their fate and then can resume work if they uh, are negative and those who are positive get treated. And have you actually reached out to the authorities that are uh, concerned to seek to have your results or the results of your members uh, expedited? Yes, we have in, in, in different forms. There are people have had to call the various testing centers. Uh, Nuguchi, for instance, has a, a line that you can call. Uh, people have reached out to people at the KCCR. But I think this should be a policy decision so that we don't have to call the testing facilities demanding for the results that have delayed. Uh, I think going forward, this should be the, 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 the way that we should go, so that when samples are taken, because we have delays across the country, uh, in the Upper East, samples are taken for uh, health workers. It takes six days for it to get back. In the Volta region and OT region, we had uh, um, staff food samples were taken, and it took some of them seven days, and they hadn't had the samples back. So I think if it's a national protocol, then that makes things easier than we having to be calling and then following up for this. All right, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Titus Bayou. And I must say, we once again want to say thank you for the sacrifices that you're, you're making on behalf of uh, the entire country. Dr. Titus Bayou is a Deputy General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association, and uh, he joined us on the line to talk about the challenges they're having with having the results of uh, their members who have been tested or health workers who have been tested for COVID-19, their results expedited. Right.